Hello and welcome to Give and Take the Virtues in Life and today's topic is Fifth Dimension and we have a wonderful guest who will introduce herself and tell us all about what she does. So welcome. Yes, thank you so much for having me. <laughs> yes, um, my name is Vanessa Simpson and I am a spiritual coach and healer. I am the founder of Fifth Dimension Therapy. Hmm. And um, yes, our, our company started um, in 2017 when I, uh, when I was 18 years old. Hmm. That's <laughs> young I, to start. You said, well, how come you started so young? Yes, so that's a beautiful question and I love answering it um, because it is right in alignment with why I do what I do. And so I was just going through the motions. I was already, um, you know, I was just graduating high school and I did go to college early, uh, the Running Start program here in Washington that Washington offers um, and got my associate's degree in psychology. And after that, I wasn't sure what I, what I really wanted to do. I didn't necessarily feel called to go back into college because I, I wasn't sure if I wanted to dedicate all of that time and money into something that I, I feel is always changing. And I wasn't completely sure if that's you know, the route that I wanted to take. I learned a little bit about it and it just felt a little too boxy for what I wanted to, what I wanted to do even though I knew I wanted to help people. Mm -hmm. And, and so I actually, uh, I went through a, a dark night of the soul <laughs> when, when I was 18 and I started getting into spirituality when I was about 16 and diving into the chakra healing system and, and learning a little bits here and there about that. And when I graduated high school, it was, uh, it was really hard because all of my friends were, going to college and I asked them like, oh, like, what do you want to do with your life? And then it would be like, oh, well, you know, I would want to do this, but they don't make that much money. So I'm going to just go get a degree in business when not even knowing what they wanted to have a business about. <laughs> and so I was so, uh, I was so distraught uh, about, you know, where I'm going to take my life, that turning point at 18 and, you know, what's next. And that just kept resonating in me. And I, I was working at a general nutrition company, GNC, here in Washington, which was, it was somewhat fulfilling. I mean, I, I helped people with their nutrition and I'm extremely passionate about health. And so, but then again, I, I didn't feel like, you know, that was my, that was my end goal. Like that's where I'm going to be for the rest of my life. And, and so I, I already felt myself in this hamster wheel that I have uh, just observed a lot of society being on where you, you wake up, you go to work, you come home, you eat, go to sleep, wake up and do it again. And you stay in this habitual autonomic uh, behavior for, for years and years at a time, people staying at the same job for, for so many years and they're feeling the same feelings and seeing the same people and having the same thoughts that they did the day before, perhaps even a year ago. And so I already felt myself at 18 starting this process. And I That's was great. like, oh my gosh, this can't, this, there's no way that we incarnate incarnated to earth to just you know go to school get in debt pay our bills retire and die like there I, there has to be something more to life and this ended up being my big existential crisis of what is the meaning of life who am i why am i here what's my purpose and it was it was such a dark place for me that my my brain literally my brain literally snapped. My my parents wanted to get me into a mental hospital. Um, my mom was actually diagnosed as a bipolar schizophrenic, and that was something that was resonating in my mind. Oh my God, am I going crazy like my mom did? Mm. Am I going to be stuck this way? And it was just um, I, some of my behavior was like out of my control, and I was mm. I was hearing voices and um, just lashing out. Uh, and I remember it clear as day. 
And I, I remember looking myself in the mirror and I just felt all of this darkness just clouding any bits of clarity that I possibly had or any grasp of anything that I had on what life is and who I am. It felt like all of this was stripped away and all I was left with was this this woman staring back at me in the mirror <laughs> and I just looked at her and I'm like, all right, we have two choices here. We can just give up and just give up trying and, you know, end up in a mental hospital. Other people have to take care of me and, and not try to uh, find the secret of life or the meaning or purpose of life, the beauty of life. Or uh, I could walk down this path that it is dark, but there's this glimpse of hope that maybe just maybe there's something more to life than what we've been led to believe. Mm. So and, it's fortunate for you that you um, it, it came to you very at an early age. And so you could have gone down that path of, oh, you're schizophrenic, you're bipolar. Mm -hmm. But I, what you saw, I think what you came into is that something is happening to me with a bit of duality going on, but mm -hmm. it's not the scientific diagnosis of schizophrenia, bipolarism, et cetera. But what's happening is a spiritual awakening so the mm -hmm. voices are the voices from somewhere. And mm -hmm. so you got to the bottom of those voices from somewhere. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's my theory, but that's a whole nother topic. <laughs> we won't <laughs> go there. But you know, so when you said you wanted to find out who I am, who are you, Vanessa? Mm -hmm. Who are you? Yes. Truly, I... who are you? Beyond the physical, who are you? Mm -hmm. I am. Um... Yes, the, the answer to this question is I am a I I am a butterfly from the spirit from spirit mm -hmm. made from love here to provide transformation and freedom for those for those on earth. So and for my, you first. So when mm -hmm. you say butterfly, but you mentioned soul, that's who you truly are. You are a soul, as you said. You mm -hmm. I came here. You came rebirth. Mm -hmm a soul and it was you saw that it was more than just I'm here as a soul right. in this body mm -hmm. to play a part but there's yeah. more to it than that mm -hmm. and so you got to the bottom of it so you could use a butterfly as a symbolism of your journey but yes. what we truly are we are souls and you mentioned that yeah so you're a soul yes. in a body yeah. playing Absolutely. the part as Vanessa Mm -hmm. and, and as you enlighten and strengthen yourself spiritually, then you're able to share with others. And, and allow my soul to speak and my soul to, to guide, guide me and my, my ego is surrendered exactly. to the soul. Exactly. And, and helps with, um, you know, that's something that I've, I've noticed with you know, clients that I've worked with and, and students is that you, you can get so wrapped up into the spirit yes. aspect that you're not really grounded mm -hmm. and it's like oh i don't need money i don't need a job i don't <laughs> need to care for myself and um so it's it's uh even you know in shamanism is something that i i study it's having one foot in this world and one foot in the other right like, you know, still have one foot in this world and your mm -hmm. your ego actually works for you mm -hmm. instead of running up against you. Beautifully said, I, so beautifully said, Vanessa. So now you've got this beautiful image behind you. What yes. is that image? Yes, so uh, these are um, crystals and then a beautiful, um, beautiful galaxy. I am very passionate about, about crystals and um, so I, I definitely, um, like <laughs> making videos from and having this space behind me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, we talked to you mentioned briefly about clients. I think this will be the right time to go take a look at that video that you sent me, that clip. So we'll yeah. look at that now, okay? Perfect. The tribe here on earth welcomes you from afar. We hear your laughter and we feel your joy. Now is the time to appoint all those who are ready to join. Take off the mask and uncover your pain, becoming real in a world so mundane. Let's join together for a global union, a peace in the making, a tribal dance with love and singing. Tears of pain, 
and grief too, from an old world, but we continue. Trusting the faith and feeling the power, a worthy soul in the looks of a flower. She bats her wings and says a prayer. May we join together for a bigger vision, a mission with passion so fiery it burns the roof of the mouth of the lips she kisses. May we pride the beauty in all things gray, crying for this day is today. For let's surrender our lives, captivate this purpose, lay it down on earth, and walk the crystal surface. Bring the light your heart carries on. Remember who you are, almighty young. Swing your hips and dot your eyes. Throw your hearts in the sky and let the old world die. Loch Ness and the Butterfly. Poem that was channeled through me. Um, uh, Lock, uh, Nessie, the Loch Ness monster. So yeah. my friends used to call me, you know, make fun of me for that. And they then called um, you, they called you Nessie. Yeah, Nessie. Yeah, <laughs> the Loch Ness um, monster. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, Vanessa actually means butterfly in Greek, and so. Oh, I didn't um, know that. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a Greek so that's, word. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, so that's when um, my my essence being uh, being a butterfly. Uh, from a butterfly spirit soul. Mm, right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so tell us a little bit about um, what you do with your with the clients that you meet with. Yeah. So, um, you know, really, uh, you know, pulling from that that poem that was channeled through me, um, walking the crystal, walking the crystal surface. You know, is that. Uh, one, there's there's this path that we can surrender to and this path is of our highest destiny our soul's mission our soul's calling and each one of us has this path and we get to choose this is our free will we get to choose out of all the infinite amount of paths that we can that, <laughs> that, we, can, uh, that, that we can take we get to choose you know, what we want to, how we want to live. And, and so I, uh, what I do with, with clients are the ones that are usually attracted to fifth dimension therapy. They're the ones that feel a calling to serve a higher mission, a higher purpose in their life. Mm -hmm. And so those are the souls that we, we hold space for and, and, and gently and gracefully guide them and allow the awakening of their sacred heart uh, unravel and uh, and be expressed and held in a space of love and allow um, it, and then help them uh, help them and, and guide them on that path and, and provide them with the tools and the support Good. Uh, that they that they need to fulfill that mission mm -hmm. and along with the healing that is needed from that because it's it's not an easy task to surrender to that high, higher path. It's, it's not. It, you, you literally have to trade in all of the fear and all the doubt and all the <laughs> insecurities and unworthiness <laughs> and all the stuff that doesn't serve you anyway. Exactly. But you have to trade all that in and detach yourself from that. And, and then you have to hold on to the faith and trust in your heart and in your own journey. And Sometimes you, you won't know what mm. the outcome is or what the end result is, but you're, you have that trust and faith in your heart that you've surrendered to this higher path and mm. you're receiving all that you need in the guidance and the teachers. And, and that's what we do as fifth dimension therapy with the Excellent. global awakening mm. on, on earth. And so we, we provide that healing process, that alignment process and that transformation process into mm. that higher path. Mm -hmm. So um, how would somebody be able to reach you, Vanessa? Yes. Um, so my, uh, my website, www.fifthdimensiontherapy.com, I, um, I have a few courses. We, we just launched our Awakening Night Healer Within course, mm -hmm. only 99 bucks, super, um, super valuable, super amazing. But then we also offer a free breakthrough session with me and my master soul purpose coaches, where you can actually connect with us one-on-one -on -one and we can really uh, open up space and, uh, and open up your higher path. 
on that call. And then if you feel in your heart that we are the, we are the, the mentors, the, to, the guidance uh, to take you on that path, mm -hmm. then we can uh, get you, get you set up into our, our mastermind. We actually have launching January 20th, 2020 of students coming together to serve this higher calling. And also on Facebook, uh, Fifth Dimension Humanity is uh, our online free Facebook community. We have tons of content on there and I'm always in there live uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays and my team's in there and so much support. Mm -hmm. Instagram too at Fifth Dimension Therapy. So you can always reach out to me personally or any of my team and uh, book that free breakthrough call with us. And, you know, it's free. So you can take that and, and take that leap and at least, you know, have that path opened up for you, mm -hmm. regardless if you feel called to work with us or not. Mm -hmm. It's really what your heart desires. Okay. And I want to take this opportunity to thank Manpreet because Manpreet is really um, the lead ambassador for Give and Take. <laughs> he mm. really is. He's always connecting me to souls such as yourself um, mm, to yes. come on. And so I really appreciate that he always has given, because he was one of the first to come on the show. Oh. And he's always been sending guests. Um, it's him and other people, but I have to say he's the lead ambassador for Give and Take. Um, so I want to thank him for connecting us yes. and to have you come <laughs> on the show because it's important. We have a couple of images that we're going to look at now as well, um, Vanessa. Okay. It's a beautiful one that says into purpose. Is that right? So don't have any glasses on. That beautiful um, yeah, one looks like you, your hair and wow, uh, what is that? <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, turning uh, pain into purpose is one of our big messages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and, and there's one more. Okay, this is a beautiful one here of you in the black. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so you're just showing different different views. You look so much older in these <laughs> pictures. <laughs> I think that's it, right? It's just, the, yes, just those two images. So, Vanessa, mm -hmm. what would you tell somebody who is dealing with some kind of difficulty in regards to what you experienced in the very beginning, what um, suggestion would you give them in what they should do? Because there are many people who are dealing with that and they, yeah. you, they get scientifically diagnosed, mm -hmm. but we know there's a spiritual reason as to why they're right. experiencing what they're experiencing. So yes. what advice would you give them, Vanessa? Yes, I am um, something very, very profound that started my, uh, started that awakening piece and really getting clarity is, is, uh, proposing the question, uh, the proposing questions. When we, when we ask questions, we're actually unlocking the wisdom in ourselves and within our mind mm. in our, just all of our energy to receive the answers. Because as you know, and you know, people watching this probably have heard that all the answers are within you. And so when you ask the question, the answer might come through such a talk as, as this, or, you know, you come across something on YouTube or you hear someone talking about it, or it comes through in meditation or in your dreams. Mm -hmm. So asking, asking the question and not being fearful of the answer. Right. And so that, in, in, you know, questioning that if you have been diagnosed with depression or, bipolar or schizophrenia or, um, you know, any of these mental illnesses, perhaps asking the question, is this, is this real? Is this who I am? Is or real? is this just the story that I've been told that I've been led to believe to be true? Beautifully said. <laughs> Thank you. Beautifully and, said. Mm -hmm. And, and so, um, at asking that question, is this, is this true? Is there something more to me? And what, who, who am I really? And that's the question uh, right there. Who am I really? Who am I? <laughs> yeah. And, and so the answer many, will come. Who am I? Exactly. And mm -hmm. so many people are really scared of asking that question because of the attachment to all these, I, these painful identities. I mean, I've, I've worked with, I've worked with clients that literally have an addiction to pain. Like they're attached to pain because yes. that's all that they've known. That's all that they've known. And so if you take away all the pain, what's left? It's and scary, right? 
it can be very, very scary. Right. Absolutely. And that's and what so, it is. We live, we've been conditioned to live from a, 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 a feeling, an emotion of fear. Mm -hmm. But we know that that's just an illusion. Fear is just an illusion. It's there to stop you from seeing who you really are. Mm -hmm. So when you drop the fear and you ask, who am I? You allow yourself to be free and open. The answer will come. Yeah. And as you know, right? You ask the question, mm -hmm. who am I? And it came all yep. flooding to you. Literally the next day, I the experiences that I had and, and I, I also... Um, so I asked, you know, who am I and what is my, what is my, what purpose? Is my purpose? And in that moment, I, I asked, I made a declaration and I, I honestly, I didn't even know what I believed at the time because I was so lost, but I just prayed. I had some type of faith that this message was going to something somewhere. And I made a declaration in that moment to have a purpose that was, that was much bigger than myself. Mm. And so not being scared to ask for what you want and, and um and asking for for what you want and literally the next day i mean that whole entire week what was happening to me you can't explain it was you know think a thought and then someone comes in and starts talking to you about that thought that you had i mean it was it it was so profound how the answers started coming through and so they always do mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i like that you said you did a, a declaration so it's almost like keeping yourself on point and on track and making um, a, a contract with the self. Mm -hmm. And so you're very fortunate, Vanessa, to have this experience, as I think I said it before, but it's worth saying again, from a very early age, because yeah. some people, they go through never knowing who they truly are, never yeah. really finding out what is, what, what's going on spiritually. They only know the scientific diagnosis right. as to what's going on. So you're very fortunate because you could have lived a life, like you said, you, you shared with your about your mother. And right. you could have gone on the track of medication, pills, like all the things you said. Right. And, and you know, it's, um, and I, I've, you know, been a, a lot of older, um, older clients that I work with, you know, oh, like if I would have started this work, you know, at your age, I would have been, you know, so much further along, right? But the thing is, is that we we all have our, our missions and be, That's I, I came in at a, at a time that it's actually easier to be authentically you because right. of the path that our ancestors paved for us. And so, um, you know, such as yourself, you know, doing this work now, even though like, depend, like it didn't start at you know, a super early age, but the, right. the matter of it is that now is such a perfect time to start. You were That's meant it. to start now because it's so much easier. Yes. I mean, trying to be a, a spiritual hippie outwardly at your job, you know, 20 years ago, not really, you know, talking about saging and, you know, or <laughs> wearing shirts about love. I mean, right. uh, you know, it's just, it's so much, uh, it's so much easier to do now. And, and I am here to serve a, a lifelong purpose doing this this light work um mm. starting as early as i can to help as many people mm -hmm. uh, as possible and no matter what age you are you can dedicate your life to first yourself and and then and then serving others as you come to this self-fulfillment this soul fulfillment mm -hmm. so what's happened is it was predestined for you at that time so when we start getting into, oh, I wish I did this, I don't say that anymore because I know it's predestined for me to do at this time, like it was predestined for me to do this TV show. Right. Next right. year will be five years. I never wow. thought, I, I, didn't, I didn't expect mm -hmm. for it to even get through its first year, but yeah. next year will be five years that I've been doing this TV show. And wow. so whatever is predestined is predestined at the time for the success. And success can be like this morning, I was in my class and um, one of the souls was saying how, she was saying, I think she used the word, um, wrong, like it was wrong or not right or error, or whatever. There is no such thing. Each thing, each situation is that. Mm -hmm. And it's experience, it's an experience for your growth. 
Exactly. So there is no errors or anything wrong. Some people give me strange looks when I say that, but it's all predestined. And and it's that that's the the that's the unfoldment of that path that you can surrender to, and or you know you can you can separate yourself, which separation also being an illusion, and you know just do your life with no help from source or life itself, mm -hmm. or you can surrender and give up to this, source to source and yes. give up control and and just. And, and then everything works out for you and the, it it's the path of least resistance. But I always say with the no right or wrong, it's, it's lessons and blessings, no matter what you do or what you choose, it's just lessons and blessings. It's yes. never about right or wrong. It's no right or wrong. And it really isn't. Mm -hmm. And it's just the path to be. And yeah. so whatever is, is going to happen is going to happen. Understand it's that predestined. And as you said, don't get caught up in the illusion of, it should be this or it should be that. It's all an illusion. Right, it's based Vanessa. off conditioning because Conditioning, you are the which is an illusion. Your life, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So you mm -hmm. get it. So you've got a good start and mm -hmm. uh, it's fantastic that you, so where you, did we talk about you're in Washington State, right? Yes, I, yes I'm in Washington State. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, uh, we're we're just beginning to um, do retreats um, as well. I'm super excited starting here in Washington. We're putting one on in January 2020, which I mean the energy of 2020. I don't know about you, but it's just oh, oh no, I'm feeling I yeah I do. I'm feeling that energy of 2020. I am, you know. Yeah. Hopefully you can come. I'm not going to talk about it now, but we'll talk about it off camera because I want to announce it next year. But I'm yeah. hoping that I'll see you on this side next oh, year. My God. So that'd yes, be great. I, I love, yes, I love yes, yes, yes. Lovely, good. And maybe I'll come your way too. Yay. You know, do some stuff with you as well, um, Vanessa. That'd be wonderful. Yeah. So um, we are getting close to the end. Mm -hmm. um, I'm very glad that you came on. Me too. You are on the right path at a very young age, predestined at the right time. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's perfect. I'm so mm -hmm. glad that you didn't end up in the route in regards to being uh, scientifically diagnosed in a state of um, like zombieism. I mean, becoming like a not being able to um, participate like and you should be. Right. And mm -hmm. just to add a little bit of a piece to that, that when a doctor or a significant figure mm -hmm. tells you that you are this, uh, and then you subscribe to that, that this is who I am. It's that. That's it. You, yep, You've just given up your life to another human being. Is Telling what you're you doing. who you are exactly. and what you should do. So, Vanessa, this was wonderful, but we're going to have to wrap up now. So, namaste. <laughs> namaste. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Nice to meet with you. We're going to speak some more. Yes. And so I'm going to do a wonderful sign off with the viewers. And so we'll talk afterwards to so stay there. So to the wonderful viewers, your level of consciousness is the gateway to the future. Thank you.